What's happening, everybody? Today, I'm out here to catch speckled trout. Trophy speckled trout. There we go. <laughs> Trophy speckled trout. That's the main objective. We're on the F-bomb 2.0. That's Jeremy's boat right here. And you guys, so today, Jeremy and I, this is crazy because the last time that we were fishing together, the last video, dude, it was like prime time, warmest water in the ocean of the whole year, summertime conditions. And now, look at us, dude, we're like doubled up. I've got two hoodies. Jeremy's got like wintertime gear to the max and you guys. So when we're filming this video, this is like one of the first cold fronts that we've had. I've actually been surfing a lot because there's been really good, really fun waves. And today, Jeremy and I were gonna utilize this really, really high tide and the water is not super brown. It's actually kind of green. So today, Jeremy and I were coming out to our local fishing hole. There's really no hiding where we're at. We're at Rudy Inlet in Virginia Beach. And we picked this spot today because it's closer to the ocean. And after this crazy cold front, we hope that the water didn't get shocked as like this crazy dip in the water temperature. 64 degrees. 64. 64. Ooh. 64. So that's actually pretty solid temperature. Like speckled trout, in my opinion, their happy place is like mid 60s. That's like when speckled trout are on the move in our fishery, Mid-Atlantic, Virginia Beach, North Carolina, and they're just super active. You can pretty much get them on top water, mirror lures. It's just free game. So that's pretty awesome. Mid 60s is the water temp and that's it y'all. That's I've really been talking a whole lot and it's time for us to start catching some of these dang fishies and get, get all fish. bundled up. That just smells fishy. All right, y'all, first cast, starting with the mirror lure. Dang. Nice fish, man. I just got whacked. Just got whacked again. Jeremy, I'm on. Look at this, first cast. What are we doing? This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is a fish fish. Yep. <laughs> Y'all, literally the very first cast is a keeper speckled trout. Yeah, wouldn't at him because he's barely hooked. <laughs> nice, nice fish. Look at this, you guys. The pickle chopper blue fish. Is it a blue? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's got a wily blue on. And I have a nice speckled trout. First cast. Alright, y'all. You know it's gonna be one of those days. They're giving the trout a hard time. They are. They are chasing the right bait. Alright, y'all. By the way, I haven't even had a chance to let y'all know what we're using. Uh, this is a mirror lure. This is the. Uh, MR18 for all y'all technical mirror lure people out there. Um, and I like this, it sinks. Uh, it's the Heavy Dean, um, also is what it's called, but I love this color right here. You guys, it is just one of those days. This is like literally fishing one of the first cold fronts that we've had. And it is on like dang Donkey Kong. Oh, son. That's another good one. I'm gonna let him go. Okay, I think I got like a 18 if it's not a blue. Oh, let's see. What do we got? Is this a blue fish? Please don't be a blue. Ah! Ah, get out of here. All right, y'all. We are going now on the Berkeley Gulp. Try and jig them up deep. Seems like some of the bluefish are up top and these big old trout are on the bottom. Dang. This is another good fish. Jeremy this is, is really slaying. Like this is a fish. Really? Get that darker. But these are definitely, these fish have just came in from the ocean. This is insane. 
it's like every like cast it's like okay when are they gonna hit I think it whacked even on the first cast as it's singing. dude look at this I'm, oh my gosh there it is. that's a good one look at this guy's like running me like down the inlet this this seems like a nice trout or it could be a drum all right this feels like either a red or a trout Redfish. Okay. This is a little slot, slot ski, redfish. All right, y'all, beautiful redfish. So these redfish, you can tell because they're like a lighter color. These fish have just came in from the ocean. They're not that gold orangey color. And Jeremy's on. We're gonna let this guy go. I do feel like the giant's gonna be up in shallow Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I just got whacked on top. Yeah. Pulled off. No, you bird! And the trout just hit it again. Definitely a better one. All right, y'all. Going back to top water. Tide started moving. And we are getting on a better class of trout. That's solid. Let's see if I can pull off a Jeremy boat flip here. Are you going to boat flip it? Dude, he's barely hooked. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That is a beautiful speckled trout. Very fun size, good for eating, but we're gonna throw this guy back. And it is a guy, because he's making the guy noise. That's him hollering at the ladies. All right, people, sun is getting low. Gosh, it is, this is like cold. This feels like November. Smaller profile, top water. Oh, I just had a blow up right near my lure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he pulled it out. Who cares? Oh, did you get hooked up? No. Uh, that's a decent one. Look at this guy, gator rolling. So we're sitting in 24 feet of water. Having Throwing top water. In, yeah, 24 feet of water. You guys, this is awesome. Another solid trout. Dude, we are like bass fishing, like boat flipping. When y'all are removing these hooks, this is the best way to grab a trout, just like this. You're not, you do not want to put your hand in the gills, just like that. These trout are, they're not redfish. They're a little bit more uh, fragile. Yeah, you guys, this, the way you grip these trout allows you to have control of the trout so they can't really head shake as Jeremy's fish is going right now. That is a nice trout. It is a nice All right, trout. we're going to throw this guy in. Yeah, after this guy. Yes. Ooh. Meaty. Look at that. Bro, that's a mini gator. Mini gator. He's probably 22. 
keep them off. Ah. No, 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 no. Okay, I think we're going to need a bigger net. We are going to need a bigger net. That is a solid. For me, with that guy. Yeah. Sun. What? <gasps> nice catch. Dang. In like, what, 20 feet of water? 20 feet of water. All right, let me get a good one. Perfect. Nice, let's let them go. All right, y'all, Jeremy and I, we are gonna start the hunt for gators. Well, we've been out trying to catch the big trout since we've been out here, but we first wanted to just catch numbers. When I say that we are going to start hunting for gators, that means that we are going to break what some people say is like rule number one with fishing. Don't leave fish to find fish. Well, that's what you gotta do when you're hunting for that big old gigantor speckled trout because that speckled trout is almost a separate species of fish altogether. In my opinion, that big old trophy trout has a behavior of like a chopper bluefish. And they are like totally the king of wherever they are. That was pretty crazy. A bird just came in and dove on a fish. Um, but that big old giant speckled trout, the gator, is more of a solitary fish. They do hang out in schools. They hang out together. But it's very rare that you will catch that 25 to 30 inch speckled trout in a class where you're catching 14 to 17 to 18 inch speckled trout. It will happen, but... There's a lot of people who say that it never happens. I have caught trophy trout in schools of fish of all size. But if you're just really going after that gator, kind of like Jeremy and I are doing right now, is we're gonna do a little bit of power fishing. And what we're looking for is we're looking for, honestly, yes, bird activity, some of the same stuff, but we're just kind of looking for more targeted areas where this fish could be hanging out. Really up shallow is kind of what we really want to be looking for because those fish again they're not really as concerned about the birds a survival method of these fish is growing in size so when these fish are small they're really worried about birds because birds can eat them but as they grow to be bigger larger into the 20 plus inch range then their worries of birds become less significant they still worry about birds especially ospreys ospreys are known to go after big fish um but uh these big old speckled trout are going to tend to be up shallow they're going to be up more kind of solitary um again they will be around schools of other uh speckled trout their size um but uh that's kind of what we're doing right now is we're just kind of on the hunt we are leaving some fish to find fish but we're trying to just find that big gator trout <laughs> when the sun I wouldn't mind oh that is a fish that's a good one I was going to say I wouldn't mind trying you know like behind the aquarium alright y'all that is a nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> now Jeremy's got a nice one. Well, maybe the big ones are coming out to play. That is a nice one. Jeremy and I are both doubled up on nice trout. Gigantor. Good muffin. Big old fish. 